everybody i hope you've been good it has been a while since i sat on this chair to talk to you guys to record a video for you guys but i hope you've been good i'm good thank you so much for the new to the new subscribers for subscribing it means so much and i do appreciate you so much and um keep staying tuned and as the title of the video says um we're going to be talking about colombian visa but it's not like all the types of visas i'm gonna be talking about you know um tourist visa okay because that's the um the the visa that i get a lot of questions about okay and um i'm going to try as much as possible to keep it simple keep it short you know straight to the point i'm gonna try my best to explain you know um in the simplest way possible and um yeah let's get started so um this video is for those kind of people who need visa because not everybody uh, not everybody you know needs a visa to come here some countries they are like visa free it's visa free free for them but for for others um like me i'm a kenyan you need a visa so um the whole process takes place online you go to the website i'm going to get a link and just leave it at the description box so you can check it there um the whole process takes place online um it takes place um you know um it takes like uh um two weeks three weeks depending it depends again i think the applications if they have like many applications it's gonna take a while definitely um so two three weeks at least okay you should expect your visa around this time around that time so the first thing of course that you need is your passport which should be um, valid for at least um, um, six months okay and the second thing that you need is a travel insurance okay for the period of your stay okay if you're coming for three months get travel insurance for three months i don't remember the limit but i'm going to check and just um write it at the description or also write it like right here and yeah travel insurance that's the second thing the third thing um accommodation but now this depends if you're getting an invitation from somebody here in colombia of course they're gonna show proof of their house or where they stay their finances to show that they can um at least sustain you for the period they, you know for the period that you'll be here um the the invitation letter that you're going to submit you know from your host or some of the person who is inviting you should it's called notaria notary so if the person is in colombia they have to go to notaria and you know get the stamp you know get the document stamps stamped and um, the document should be in english and also in spanish okay actually all the documents if it's from your end they should be like translated so it's very important to have somebody translate your documents for you all right um so they have to show their like finances maybe um bank statements okay where they live and yeah so if you don't have an invite from somebody in colombia you should um get your bank statements in order okay um at least have like 5000 5k usd 7k okay and um in your bank okay and get the statements you know this money should be there already get the statements and um you know you you will submit them to the migration migration all right um you need um also proof of accommodation proof okay of accommodation if you don't have somebody inviting you like a hotel booking airbnb or just something hostel where you're going to be staying for the that period okay the other thing that you need is um a return ticket from your country of origin where you're coming from or where you're going at least you know after your time is up we can live okay and um anything else that you need mm -mm. i don't think there's anything else that you need i think those are the basics um if you need like more document or if, if they need more document definitely they are going to ask you um if you work from your country of origin also provide um like a letter you know from your workplace or something 
and i think you're good to go if they require a document as i said they're just gonna ask it okay make sure your documents like invitation letters or any sort of letter it's um, translated to spanish um submit the documents all the documents online make sure you have also a photograph because they're gonna need like your photograph okay um your face clearly being seen your ears yeah and i think a background okay so i think that's the only things the only things that you need um and you should be able to come here and enjoy this beautiful country so if you need more information guys you can write the question you know at the comment section if this video was helpful for you um give it a thumbs up write a comment tell me what you think and um well i hope you enjoy colombia um if you've not subscribed please subscribe it's gonna mean so much to me all right and um yeah, stay tuned for more videos and bye bye. Um, see you next time.